Planche is cool looking move and training it can be fun until you get the forearm pain. Reason number one is that your body is not adapted to the planche. Basically you can be strong how much you want and maybe you even have the strength to do the straddle planche for example or even full planche. If you do 30 handstand push-ups then you have the bent arm strength. You will maybe, maybe, maybe you will do one full planche with straight arms but as long as you don't build the straight arm strength you will burn out so quickly because your muscles in your forearms, biceps, triceps, uh, mainly your tendons are not used to doing straight arm moves. The reason number two, skipping progressions. For example, you are in a tuck planche and when you are fresh, you are maybe strong enough to do one advanced tuck planche attempt. But when you didn't master even the tuck planche uh, fully, like at least 20 seconds for two, three times, you will with that advanced tuck planche uh, burn out so quickly again, your muscles will be tight faster. Again another example, you do three tuck planche holds, but before them you do this advanced tuck hold, then imagine you take all your strength from your muscles in that advanced tuck planche hold and then you wanna do those three more. What will happen? So guys, it's better to progress slowly and safely than just injuring yourself all the time because when you get the forearm pain it's not short-term problem. I would say two weeks to fully recover from that at least in my case and then when you recover you will be like ha I will try the advanced tuck planche again. Boom you will do it and you will get the forearm pain again. So don't skip the progressions that your body is not strong enough for yet. The next reason is that you are using Parallels. And I know everybody says that everything on parallels is much easier. Well, it's true, but personally I found out that doing planche on parallels makes me get the pain much quicker than doing it on floor. But this is maybe just me. Try different variations, different grips on the floor with wrists facing forwards, which I don't recommend but maybe maybe it's for you then you can twist them 45 degrees or completely to the sides so guys try this and you'll see if it works the fourth reason is overtraining this is pretty simple cut the volume cut the intensity cut reps cut sets cut the hold time or even go back from uh, training the planche four times a week to three times or even two times do a deload week basically you can do always something to give your muscles rest but at the same time not stop completely training and the last reason number five is that you don't do warm-up before planche training or your warm-up is just not simply enough with proper warm-up you will make a huge difference in your training trust me your muscles are prepared for those hardcore skills uh, or exercises basically so don't skip warm-ups and don't skip this video yet because now i will show you how i warm up for my planche training So that's it guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you want you can check out this playlist, I have a couple of interesting planche videos you may find helpful too. And I appreciate every kind of feedback so my next video is even better than this one. See you guys.